Hello friends, welcome to Backside Story, Musings of a Gastroenterologist. New post. Are jobs like marriages? And is loving your job a myth? How often have you felt that your job is stressful, annoying and distressing? Aren't marriages equally taxing, tense <clears throat> and even traumatic? Once I was at a housewarming party celebrating my friend's new abode. Here is a snapshot of the conversation from the party. Mr. A, who worked as an IT professional, states, "You are a doctor? That must be nice. My job sucks. I sit in front of a computer screen, problem solve IT algorithms all day long." The work is mundane, boring, and I don't get paid as well. And to top it off, I have a terrible boss. Miss B, who owns a garment boutique shop, chimes in. Well, I'm my own boss, but let me tell you, that is even worse. I have to deal with complaining customers and constantly invent ways to market manage and evade taxes to stay afloat Mr J is an attorney who claims that he enjoyed working at a non-profit after graduation from law school he was dealing with child abuse cases but the pay was a joke he could not save for his own future let alone his kids future so he switched to a private law firm now he hates his work it is hectic unsatisfying and unchallenging <laughs> but the pay is better it made me question what about me do i love my job and do most physicians love their job let the data answer this question. in january 2020 Medscape published their survey results focusing on physician burnout. Burnout is a long-term job-related stress that results in exhaustion, pessimism, and disinterest in one's job responsibilities. More than 15,000 physicians nationwide, representing 29 medical specialties, had responded to that survey. Overall, 42% physicians reported being burnt out this number for gastroenterologists was 36% notably this number has fairly stayed consistent suggesting that a large number of physicians report poor job satisfaction and job related distress this made me question what does it actually mean to love your job is it even possible my own answer i do not love my job consistently but there are more days when i'm grateful for the job than when i absolutely have to tweak expectations and be realistic i think this notion to fall in love with your job and the existence of a dream job are ludicrous ideas everything in life is imperfect jobs aren't flawless and they can't be reframing what work can and should provide could have a tremendous impact on our job satisfaction for example my job provides me a challenge to interact with others in a meaningful way and a good salary it lacks however in autonomy professional growth and the work is stressful Could I dare compare job to a marriage? Why not? Both require a detailed selection process for which you dress up elegantly to appear brighter and lovelier than you really are. Both are heavy duty commitments, at times seeming like an uphill battle. Researchers estimate that 41% of all first time marriages in the US will end in divorce 
that is pretty close to 42% of burnt out physician rate. It also highlights the fact that jobs like marriages need constant work and deliberation. There are countless things about marriage that annoy me. Lack of personal freedom is number one. Platonic relationships make my wife jealous, and she keeps the house at an unbearable temperature. Number two, she takes a long time to get ready and expects a compliment and never a criticism. Boss at work is a bit less demanding than this. Yes, I lack autonomy and I cannot critique him, but I don't need to admire him either. Just like my wife, he doesn't always consider my feelings, but thankfully does not eat off my plate. He and the corporate team decide how to invest the profits and not share a dime with me as a bonus. At home, it isn't hugely different. I dare not call any of her purchases lavish and inept. There are, of course, a few differences between jobs and marriages. One doesn't leave a marriage at 65 with gifts and a send-off party. However, I don't think I can quit my job like this also, as realistically, given present times, retirement seems more like a luxury hardly anyone can afford. I had read this on the internet. Remember that creating a successful marriage is like farming. You have to start over again every day. Thus, to make jobs work like marriages, start afresh daily and treat it as a new beginning. The best part? Changing jobs is usually not as stressful as changing marriages. What about this post stuck with you the most? What are your own takeaways about relationships, both personal and professional? I would love to hear your comments and feedback. Please share, comment, advise, and subscribe. Thank you very much for listening. Keep smiling.